Of all the great adventurers of science, few led a life as daring and as strangely overlooked as Alfred Russell Wallace. Born in 1823 into a struggling English family, Wallace's early life was shaped by poverty and an insatiable hunger for knowledge. Without the luxury of a formal university education, he taught himself through voracious reading, long walks through the countryside and correspondence with fellow naturalists. His passion for understanding the diversity of life eventually led him to South America and then the Malay archipelago, where the real story of his greatness unfolded. In the tropics, Wallace faced fever, shipwrecks and near starvation. Yet it was there, amid the lush rainforests and teeming islands, that he made one of the most profound discoveries in the history of science. Carefully observing the wildly different species on neighbouring islands, he began to realise that living things were not fixed and immutable, as tradition claimed. Instead, species changed, slowly, gradually, adapting to their environments. The mechanism, he deduced, was natural selection. Individuals best suited to survive would pass their traits to the next generation, shaping the course of evolution over millennia. In 1858, while laid low with malaria on the remote island of Ternate, Wallace penned an essay outlining his revolutionary theory. Believing Charles Darwin a kindred spirit, he mailed the manuscript to him for feedback. What Wallace could not have known was that Darwin, after two decades of private study and hesitation, had independently reached the same conclusions. Darwin was thunderstruck, and, to his credit, he and his friends arranged for both Wallace's paper and Darwin's own work to be presented jointly to the Linnean Society of London. Thus, Wallace's brilliance helped precipitate the publication of On the Origin of Species the following year. Despite his pivotal role, Wallace remained a man of remarkable humility. He continued his scientific work, exploring topics from biogeography, in which he identified the famous Wallace line, dividing Asian and Australian species, to anthropology and conservation. He warned against the reckless destruction of the natural world, becoming one of the first advocates for environmental protection. Even as spiritualism captured his imagination later in life, Wallace's commitment to scientific integrity never wavered. History often casts Darwin as the sole father of evolution, but the true story is richer and more adventurous. Without Wallace, the fearless naturalist who saw the hand of natural selection in the flutter of a butterfly's wing or the leap of a tree frog, 